so today we're going to be making graduation cards to go with my graduation lay and i'm going to be using a cricut joy insert card in cream with gold glitter and there was recently an, a cricut design space update where you don't have to go into cricut joy anymore to find the cards all the cards are available in all the machines so i just went into projects i typed in graduation and as you can see there's so many different choices and it was really hard to choose but i pick this one that says congrats grad and before you have to bookmark it then go back into maker but now it's available right here but the only thing is now you have to pick r20 if you're using the 4.25 by five and a half cards and that's really important because it doesn't say anywhere like what the dimensions are. And then so when you go to the, the make it, you have to select matte. And then from here, it's the same as what I've been doing before. Aligning the middle to the six inch vertical line. And then just creating, moving it to the right to create a border, an even border all the way around the card. So for my base material, I'm going to choose cardstock. And then let's go to the mat so I can show you how I align it. So this is what the cards look like. And it comes in a pack of 10. And the gold glitter backing is really nice. So I'm going to be using a standard grip mat, but if you have a light grip mat, that would work probably better. This one is just, I'm using this one just because it's not that sticky. So it's okay for the cardstock. So I'm going to go down to the six inch line and that's where I'm going to align the middle or the fold of my card. So once you have that, then you're going to work on aligning and spacing out the top and the bottom. You want it to be equally distant from the one inch line and I believe the six inch line. I'm really just eyeballing at this point, but you can use a ruler to measure. And then once I get it, I'm going to use my brayer and flatten the card out. So once it's done, we're going to re remove it from the machine. And then we're going to remove the mat from the cardstock so that it doesn't curl up. And just be gentle, especially when it has like script and words. You don't want to pull it. And just use your scraper to get off all the extra paper. So now I'm going to gently put in the glitter cardstock and you always want to bend the cardstock to fit into the little lines or the, the insert part. It's pretty delicate on the sides. So just be careful. And that's what the card looks like. If you want, you can put like a little dot of glue or a piece of tape to hold it down. But I think once it's in the envelope, it'll stay. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.